It's good to see you. This is a very special day for me. Very, very special. I can't even tell you. This is, this is one of the most exciting days of my life right here. This is like 27 Christmases rolled into one. Thank you. Go ahead. I'm, I'm the same color, but you're cute too. Thank you. There are lots of people here and I'm a little distracted. Um, this, you know, people say I'm kind of like a time lord. Because I'm <laughs> I make so many videos and stuff. This, I guess in a way I kind of am because I'm making this today. I'm making this today for you to watch in the future, but by the time it's your present, it will be my past and this will have already occurred. So maybe I'm kind of like doing a little time jump here. Um, I'm a little emotional today because this is something, this is something that I have wanted for 40 years. I know most of y'all haven't even been alive 40 years. I've wanted to do this for 40 years, like four decades. When I was a kid, I, I dreamed about it. I have never given up on my dream to do it. This is not a April Fool's joke. This is for real. And I'm not even going to tell you what it is. I'm just going to show you. I'm going on my very first cruise. We are going on the Carnival Ecstasy to the Bahamas for four days. Look at that. We are getting ready to go board the ship in just a minute. We're getting ready to go get on here. And I wanted to take a minute to just say thank you. Thank you so much. Because if it weren't for you and YouTube, I wouldn't be doing this right now. I've dreamed about this since I was a little girl. I used to watch the Love Boat every Saturday night. And I would dream of doing this. I'm not kidding, I'm totally serious. Even in times in my life where it would have been impossible to even think about it, I never gave up. And I'm actually doing it for the first time in my life at 44 because of you. I never gave up and I was going to do it, but I'm gonna be able to do it a lot faster now because of you. And I thank you so much. I'm gonna show you what I can. I don't know how much video I'm gonna make. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to make, but we're going to the Bahamas. We're going to, we're going to hang out with some dolphins on a private island. We're doing all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to show you what I can, but I just wanted to take a minute to tell you that I really appreciate all of you and I will never forget, I will never forget this. Um, so there it is again. Thank you so much. You have made one of my dreams, you've literally made my dream come true. And my kids too, my kids are going to. You have made something incredible happen and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go get on the ship now. Bye. Hey, I'm wandering around on the ship and I'm looking at stars. I'm sorry, excuse me. This place is awesome. We're, we're, on, the, we're on the Empress Deck, which is where our room is. And it's just like, it's just stuff everywhere. I'm still walking around trying to figure out where everything is. Um, like you see, this carpet is crazy. Look at it, it give you a seizure if you look at it too long. And so you got steps that just go absolutely everywhere. Uh, DEF, this has been very confusing for me. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to be on E, but we were not, even though our room number was E something something. But you can come over here, um, and then you can actually look at stuff like, okay, Empress Deck 7, which is where we are, and I'm going to take you up to this Panorama Bar and Grill. So now we're at the Panorama Bar and Grill. Now this place is like... It's like the Golden Corral on steroids, okay? It's gonna be loud in here, because everybody's in here. If you come here, you can get Italian food. Wow. It's just, it's ridiculous in here. Look over here, let me show you something. It's extremely crowded, I don't want to put it on anybody. I love this, of course, because I have a sweet tooth. You can go to the sweet spot, and they have cake pops, this is apple crumble. Those are display only, you can't eat those. Mango mousse, I tried this. This is a lemon meringue tart, it was very good. I came up here earlier and I had a whole plate full of just jello because I'm just ridiculous. Um, 
they have a bar there's pizza over there ice cream it's ridiculous so then you come out here out there you can see I want to show you something I'm sorry I'm gonna show you something we have not set sail yet we're going to way out there you can see the um, the USS Yorktown um, that's where we were yesterday we went to the Yorktown. I'm gonna see if I can get over a little closer. There's a, a speedboat <laughs> going by. See? But way over there is the USS Yorktown, and we went there yesterday, and it was, oh my God, it was so hot. It's hot today, too. It's about 95 degrees outside. Um, let's go out on deck. But this, this place is huge. They have every kind of food you could want here. Watch your step. Well, shoot, I can't even open it. <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. So you come out here. Okay, now we can see it better. See, it's way over there. Nice breeze. There's the bridge again. We are in Charleston, South Carolina. Here comes the helicopter. They do, you can do, actually do helicopter tours here. And we saw them flying around yesterday. So we're um, kind of on the the back end of the ship, and I mean it goes, you know, just way. These here, you can see one of the lifeboats. See, that's pretty cool. Nice, refreshing breeze. There's a bird, <laughs> but we're way up, <laughs> like way up. Um, so you walk down this way, and they have lifeboat embark embarkation stations. They can get. A lot of people on one of those boats. 143. Total of 150 with the crew. And here are the the lights that shine on the side of the ship. And you just come down this way. It's just really, really nice. I really like being here. This is my first cruise, like I said, and um I think this is my new favorite thing. We haven't even set sail yet, and I already love this so much. Um, I've just been walking around. My kids have been walking around with me. They're back in the in the stateroom right now, um, just kind of hanging out. We're waiting because shortly we're going to have to. There's a, like a safety drill that everybody has to participate in. They're waiting for that. I'm going to go back down there in a minute, um, and we're going to do that, but. I just thought I would come up here on deck for a minute and walk around a little bit and take a look at everything again. There's another boat. Hey, they're waving at us. Hey! <laughs> I'll wave at them. Look at me. They're not waving. Look, I'm going to lose my hat. A little bit windy out here. <laughs> but there they go. Look at all that water. Ooh. So. If I can keep my hat on, I'm going to walk you out here. I'm going to take you out to where one of the pools is. Now, you have to go up another level or two to get to the, the bigger pool where the water slides and everything are. And we'll go up there later, but right now I'm not going to go up that far. I am going to take you out and see if I can show you the smaller pool that's on the Lido deck, which is where we are right now. We're almost there. It's like a party out here. There's loud music and lots of people. There's a little pool right there. It's a saltwater pool. It's so beautiful. So we have a pool. There's an upper deck up there. Back here is the fin. So you can see the big fin of the ship there. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it looks so much smaller from a distance. But um, there's a, there are other pools up there and water slides. It is so beautiful out here. Oh my God. So then we have um, the blue iguana over there. I had a burger there. It was really good. But there are lots of people out here already. They have a hot, they have two hot tubs. They have this one and then that one over there. This one is not in the shade. So it's really cool. So it's really great. I'm gonna come back out this way. <laughs> one thing I 
notice about the ship right off the bat? There's alcohol everywhere. Oh my God. Any, any, if you get thirsty for about three seconds for an alcoholic beverage, you just turn around and there's a bar right there. <sighs> I, I don't have, that's, it's fine. I'm not a big alcohol drinker though. Um, I did have a Coke, so that was nice. And you can get tea and orange juice or whatever you want. They have all kinds of drinks here. Oh, the ferry boat's going by. Now, that thing is enormous up close. We saw it yesterday when we went to the Yorktown. So, um, sailboats out there, really pretty. It's, it's a beautiful day. The weather is absolutely perfect. If you couldn't ask for better weather than this. It's, it's a, well, it's a little warm, but it's, it's summer. So, it's official first day of summer, June 21st. Uh, it's fantastic. So, um... I'm gonna go back down to my room and get, gather up my boys and get ready for the safety drill thing that we all have to do here shortly. So, I will be back later and we will look at some other parts of the gym. We actually have an art gallery on our floor on uh, the Empress deck where we are. I'm gonna go through and show you some of the artwork down there. It's really neat. Artwork. We actually have an art gallery on the level where our room is. It's really wild. Wow. Look at this, check it out. I really like these. Look at that. Now see, they're gonna do a champagne art auction, um, I guess tomorrow at one. Now I didn't really come here to buy any art. That's kind of cool though, look at that. And then here's a similar one here. That's not bad. I really like the flowers on this one. I think that's pretty. It's really big too. It's it's quite, quite big. Let's see. And then this one's nice. These look like they're done on an aluminum bowl. Okay, <laughs> kind of shiny. That's yeah, so there's a hummingbird. I really like that. And then there's another one here. It's very pretty. And the third one. I don't think they come together and they get to buy them separately. And this is like the, the weird stuff. I don't know. And then we have this. But these are all, um, actually they're gonna auction these off tomorrow. And we have a great big one here. I really like that. The white birch trees. I like the, the orange and the red in that one. Very pretty. Ooh, look at that one. That's nice. And that one too. I like the, the light and the color in that one. And here's the one with a chair in front of it. That's like a photograph almost, but it's, it's not. Get the chair off of it. That one. Oh, that's a great big one right there. It's enormous. Um, so it, it said on here somewhere that they're they're doing the bidding tomorrow, but I think you can actually purchase them ahead of time if you want to. This one here is really cool. And it says they'll be reframed. Look at that. <laughs> I've never seen anybody sign their name really big at the top. But there are several here by this person. And they just put it like really big, like right up there. I really like this one. That's cool. The swirly flowers. <laughs> and this one's nice. This makes me think of Bob Ross kind of. Just, you know, with the reflections down in the water and the trees and the clouds. It's very, very Bob Rossy to me. This one's nice. I'm, there's a shadow on it for my hat. I'm trying to <laughs> back up a little bit. Um, so there's this matte person. I've never seen anybody put a name on there like that. Very interesting use of color. That one's interesting too. My, my younger son really liked that one. He said it made him think of Five Nights at Freddy's for some reason. Ooh, look at this one. That's it. It's very long. Like it's a long, skinny painting. And there's another one. Here's a really big one here. Like an angel. Oh, this is cool. Check this one out. I don't know who did this one. Oh, no, it's Matt or Max or whatever his name is. It looks like Matt to me. Well, it could be an X though. That one's okay. I don't like it as much as some of the other ones though. And here's a big um, Statue of Liberty. It's like the other one we looked at, but bigger. And there's some more flowers there. But see, look, they're all, it's like we have this whole wall over here. Look at this one, wow. This, uh, this says Thomas Kincaid on it. Wow, so that's just a print. Look at that. I've never been a huge Thomas Kincaid fan, honestly. I mean, it's it's okay. It's I mean, it's pretty, but it doesn't really jump out at me like other some other things do. Look at that. 
Look at that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> this one's nice. I like that. That's pretty. And this one too. Oh, I like that one. Oh, I really love this tree. That's beautiful. Kind of reminds me of that tree from the movie What Dreams May Come, if you saw that. Kind of reminds me of the, um, the big flowery tree. But look, it comes all the way down. Like, this whole hallway is just pictures. Very interesting. I like the shadow. And that one, that's nice. That's eh, not really my, my style. Here's a really... This a ballerina just looks like she's over it. Like, I swear to God, get your water out of my gramophone, you tireless hussy. And then we got some more back here uh, dancing on water. Now, if they could dance on the ceiling, then Lionel Richie would think they were great. That's pretty. Very colorful, vibrant. Like that one. Wow, look at this. This is really pretty. That's beautiful. This one too. Very nice. Oh, here's a long skinny one here. Golly. I like the frame on this one too. It's like, um, I don't want to touch it, but it's like wood. Like they painted on wood. And then, I mean, we missed a bunch, but I'm just kind of giving you a brief look at some of these. Oh, my younger son really liked this one. It's kind of, um, like it's 3D. It's, it's multiple layers of stuff. Obviously, it's the Big Apple. <laughs> he thought that one was really nice. And then they have another one up here. And you can see it's different um, like different layers in there. It's not just a flat picture. It's a really bored owl. I love this cat. This cat reminds me of my cat, Evie. For some reason, if she were a cartoon, she would look like that. <laughs> um, with some bored ladies with lots and lots of blue eyeshadow. I don't know why. Here's a nice tiger. It's kind of hard everywhere you go because there are you know, a lot of people here, obviously. But um, this one I really liked. It's really big, but I like it. I love that one. That's that's cool. And this one too. That's nice. And then from here, like if you go out that way, then it's um you're out in the little atrium. And um, it's really crowded, so I don't, I don't think I want to try to shoot. Well, we'll see if we can come out here and look for a second, just real quick. I want to show you straight up if I can. Look up there. This is the Grand Atrium. Check it out. The, the elevators are really fun to ride in. <laughs> Ooh, this place is great like up there they have the galleria shops and their city lights and you just look straight up at the sky <laughs> there are all kinds of shops up there there's a game room up there it's just like everything and i love riding in the elevators for fun <laughs> so it's um it's really crowded most people are already on the ship i think we saw about an hour before we set sail but most people are here now so it's really starting to get crowded but I just wanted to show you the gallery and uh, the atrium so <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go find something to do where I'm gonna put both hands like I think I'm gonna go swim so let's see ya.
still asleep, so I decided to come up here and try to find some caffeine. Um, all I found was coffee so far. I'm trying to find like some coke, not cocaine, but like, you know, some soda. I can't find any, but I'll find some eventually, but it's so pretty out here. I'm at the very back of the ship. You can see the, the tail fin up there. It's blowing out some stuff on the one side. So we have the water slides up here. It's, it's really early in the morning. It's only like, God, I don't know. I don't think it's even seven o'clock yet. The wind is blowing the hair in my mouth. It's really annoying, but later in the day, they'll have, they'll have the water slots open and all these chairs will be out here. Um, if you look down here, we're on the Lido deck right now. Look down here. I didn't even know, but there's a water, a uh, hot, uh, water, hot water, that thing, a hot tub there and one there. So you can see down there, really churning it up. You just left a trail <laughs> of bubbles down that way. I got a death grip on my phone. It's really windy out here. I look like a sheep dog, but I don't care. Truly don't care. Oh, the sun's coming out a little bit. A little cloudy this morning. All you can see is ocean. All the way around, all you can see is ocean out in the middle of nowhere. It's beautiful out here. I love it. Um, I wasn't, you know, you never know if you're going to really enjoy an experience until you try it. But I'll tell you, this has been so wonderful so far. I mean, this is our first full day. We're going to be at sea all day, headed to the Bahamas. And uh, I love it. I've really enjoyed it so far. Everybody here is really, really nice, really helpful wonderful people on this ship um yeah so i'm, I'm excited I'm, I'm really enjoying it let's go this i don't want to go that way the music's too loud let's see let's see it kind of scoops out here you can see the deck down there it's really awesome they wouldn't let me bring my fishing pole back on it oh well anyway I'm gonna go continue my hunt for some caffeine and see if I can get this hair out of my face. <laughs> oh, something else. Really early in the morning is a great time to come to the atrium if you want to see what it looks like without a ton of people in here. Now we were in here yesterday, and you know there were 50 bajillion people here because when we came in, we had to. All, we all came in right through there, but uh, there's like nobody in here now. You wouldn't believe there were 20, like 2,400 passengers on this ship right now. It's so quiet. There's like nobody here. It's crazy. Um, yeah, just uh, staff, basically. All I see are staff, staff people. And you walk around and you see the occasional passenger. People are starting to come out and stir. The buffets are not open yet. It's kind of surprised me. Um, I went to the one here on the Lido deck um, and the other big buffet thing, and it's not open yet either. So, uh, anyway, let's see if we can get an elevator. See, when, you, when, you're waiting, when you're waiting here at the elevator, of course, they have, they want to sell you uh, shore excursions, which we already, uh, I already purchased one. We're going to go swim with dolphins tomorrow, so I'm really excited about that. All right, here's an elevator just for us. Oh, that's delightful. Let's see, uh, I'm gonna go to seven, Empress Deck. I love the glass elevator. Going down. Yay, woohoo, here we go. <laughs> it doesn't take much to, to make me happy. Hey, there's soda. Oh, snap, I want one. I have yet to find any soda, I'm still, thank, thank you, I'm still looking. Look at all the neon everywhere. It's, it's awesome. And see here, down here, you got a bunch of stuff. You got beauty salon, patio pool, blue sapphire, the neon bar, explorers club, windstar, crystal palace, city lights. My God, just about anything you could want is down here. So yeah, when you come in, we all came in through this big door right here. And then they take your picture with the towel dude. And there's a big window. Let's, uh, let's go this way. Come down here. Here's the, here's like the bar for the atrium. Get up there. It's so cool. I 
feel like I'm in a mall in the 80s for some reason. All right. So we come down here, and this is the art gallery that we were in yesterday. They're taking all the pictures down because they're actually doing the art auction later today. I think it's at, yeah, it's at 1 o'clock. They're probably not going to go to that. Um, but see, they're, they're taking them all down to take them to the, I guess to get them ready for the auction. So, oh, oh I'm sorry. All the wires hanging everywhere. Very exciting. I'm trying to find the library. There, there was a library in here somewhere. I lost it. Where the heck was that library? Was it down this way? I don't think so. I can't remember how I got there. Oh, that's just stateroom. I'm digging this carpet. Look at that. It's like if you put Transformers in charge of decorating, I think they would come up with this carpet. I don't know why I feel that way. It's like Optimus Prime would pick this out. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go find something. Today, on the second day of our cruise, it's our first full day at sea. And I'm back in the back of the ship again. I'm trying to get my kids to come out. They're in another part, so I don't even know where they are right now. They're somewhere on the ship. But uh, I got smart. I put something on my head to keep my hair from blowing in my face. But it looks a little different out here now. Look at it. It's people. It's not, not a lot of people actually, but it's still kind of early. Um, I think it's about 10.30. Look at how blue this water is. It's a... Uh, it's almost hypnotic. Look at, look at how pretty that is. It's so blue, it's so beautiful out here. I'm just, I'm watching the, 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 it's kicking up the foam, you know, from the engines and stuff, and it's just, my God, it's beautiful out here. And it's all because of you that I'm here, and that my kids are here, and we're having such a good time. And I, I am so grateful, you will never know how grateful I am that we could do this now. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't be here. We would not be out here today. So thank you for that. It's, it's indescribable. It's just, it's so incredible. Look, there's, there's just no land anywhere. <laughs> We're out in the middle of the ocean. It's, it's awesome. Awesome. But I just, I love the way the water looks when it's kicked up back there. That's just cool. So, it's so beautiful. Look how blue it is. I mean, you can really tell now that the sun is up a bit. You can really see how blue that water is. I mean, you know, on the coast, on, around North Carolina, it always looks kind of green, but here it's, it's so, so pretty. It makes the little swirly things. The, the foam is all swirly. It's just cool. I don't know. I've been out here for a little while just watching it. It's really nice. Down, uh, you go down one level and down there where the pool is and it's very, very crowded down there and noisy and peopley and it's a, little, a little bit quieter up here right now. So that's why I'm up here. <laughs> anyway, I thought I would show you a little bit of that very nice. I'm loving this. I'd be at work right now if I weren't here, so this is about 10,000 times better than that. <laughs> this is much better. So, I'm going to go wander about. It is sunset and it's so pretty. My hair is nasty. I don't care. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a great day. Um, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful out here. Look at this. Look at this beautiful sunset. I see normally at this time of day I would be at home after a long week at work probably doing laundry and washing dishes and God knows what instead instead I'm back on the back of the ship this is like my favorite place I love coming here um, after a lot of the people clear out this is um this is so pretty the water looks darker now I guess because the sun's going down but um, 
I know I've shown you all a lot of the back of this ship, but it's just so pretty out here. Um, we are due to make it to Nassau at 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm hoping to get up early. I'm going to try to go to bed a little early. And the kids are on board with it. Go to bed a little early so maybe we can uh, be up on deck so we can be up there when we get into port. I think that would be really cool to see. So anyway, it's getting dark. A little darker. It's cooled off out here quite a bit. It was really hot earlier today. Really hot, but it's been really nice. Um, so anyway, beautiful sunset out here this evening. And I'm having a great time. My kids are back in the room. I think they're watching TV. They're both tired. <laughs> so I think I better, I'm going to go back and join them. And probably end up falling asleep. <laughs> this time of morning. I'm up on the very top deck near the front of the ship and uh, there's actually a, um, there's a golf course out here like a little mini golf thing um, and there's the spinny thing <laughs> uh, so you can come out here and this is this is about as high up as you can get and it's, it's extremely windy out here and my hair is blowing all over the place it's actually not too windy right here but you come over this way and it gets a little worse somebody's hacking up a lung over there <laughs> about all you see out here at this time of the morning is um smokers and people who are getting a little exercise are taking pictures at the sunrise other than that you're not really my god okay you don't really see many other people out here It's windy, but we're going to walk out here. Ooh. So this is the very... God, okay. This is the front of the ship. <laughs> it's really, really windy. And again, well, it's kind of hard to see, but way out there is another cruise ship. It's, uh, you can't really see it. night they had their big fancy uh, formal soiree thing last night there were people walking around dressed really super fancy It's just cool to come up here. 
here and uh, see what you can see. You can't really see any land yet. We haven't quite made it to the Bahamas yet, but we're we're supposed to be there by about nine o'clock this morning. So hopefully we will be. kind of weird because I have three things converging at once. I have to carry over this wind. I don't know. I have three things converging at once that are really Three great things that are happening all at once for me. Um, first thing, like I said, I get to go on this cruise, which is something I've wanted to do since I was four or five years old. Um, so, you know, 40 years. And uh, second thing, we're about to hit 100,000 subscribers, which I still cannot, <laughs> I still cannot believe it. It's unreal. So that's the second, oh, there's another ship way out there. God, we're surrounded. We, we went all day yesterday. I didn't see a single other ship, and today there are two of them out here, other than us. Let's see if I can. Where'd it go? I'm trying to zoom in on it. Out oh, there it is. Way. I can't. Ew, this is hard. Way out there. So we're about to hit 100,000 subscribers. I get to go on this awesome cruise. I'm gonna go swim with dolphins later today with my kids. They're both still asleep. I, I didn't wanna wake them up. I decided to just come up here. Um, so we're gonna go swim with dolphins when we get to Nassau. And the third thing is on Tuesday, I am going to go pick up my new car. I bought a car. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be going to pick it up on Tuesday. We get back Monday, I'm picking it up the next morning. So this is really, really awesome. I'm telling you, there's so many good things going on right now. And I'm so grateful to each of you because without you, none of this would be happening right now. So I really appreciate it. God, it feels so good. I'm, I'm in the shade right now. It's not as windy here. So it's really, really pretty. I've got a lifeboat below me. If things take a turn for the worse, we'll be all right. It's there, there's a whole row of them down here. So we're, we're good. I think I'll fit in one of those. Maybe they'll let me drive. It's like a little, it's like a little submarine or something. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if I tell them it's a special trip for me, they'll let me do it. Oh well. I'm going to go find something to eat, I think. Well, I don't know. The buffets may not even be open yet. It's too early. But uh, I'm going to go find something to snack on if possible. And uh, the food here is spectacular. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to be... Ooh, birds. Hey! I'm probably going to be 20 pounds heavier by the time I get back home. <laughs> I don't care. The food is so good here and there's so much of it everywhere. Oh my god. It's fantastic. Yeah, I'm, those are the first birds I've seen. Um, yeah, we must be getting near land. All right. Oh, look, there's smoke coming out. It may not be good. That <laughs> does that all the time. Just periodically, you'll see a bunch of smoke come out. Here's the back part of the ship. Down here, and you have there's the pool. It's a saltwater pool, and you have all of your little towel animals down there. They're adorable. Little towel animals. Yeah, the smokers are up. They smoke over there. It's a beautiful morning. Look at these gorgeous clouds. It's, it's just, oh, it's too beautiful out here. 
I don't know that I'll be able to get any video with the dolphin stuff. Um, the brochure said that cameras aren't allowed, so I don't, we may not be able to do anything. I don't know. They probably just want to sell you their own pictures that they take, <laughs> which is fine. But if not, I'll tell you all about it later. Okay, I'm going to go see what I can find. We have finally made it <laughs> to the Bahamas. Yay! <laughs> My son is blinded. It's extremely bright. bright. Look, there's the Norwegian sun. And back over there, it's kind of hard to see, but there's like some kind of a Navy ship or something. It okay, it's a frigate. Well, frigate, I don't care what it is. Look, we're coming in. It is so beautiful out here. Oh you know, my what's, gosh. What's funny is those things are like the size of the small bus terminal areas, but they look tiny. They do look tiny, don't they? Wow. Those are real palm trees down there. <laughs> Sorry, it doesn't take much. That, that yacht looks tiny. <laughs> it's not, but it looks tiny. Ooh. I'm actually going to have a headache because it's too bright. Too <laughs> it's too hot. Yes. Too hot. Well, let's walk over here. I want to... Um, what a minute. Okay, look. We're, I'm looking out one side of the ship here. Look at that water. I don't know if you can, I don't even know. It's so bright, it's hard for me to tell. There's another cruise ship way out of the distance. Um, look at that beautiful water. Oh my God. This is gorgeous. This is so beautiful. I'm gonna walk you over to the other side. Now we're back up here at the mini golf thing. I'm gonna walk over to this side of the ship so you can see what's over here. Over here it looks very different. Um, let's see. I'm gonna come down here. Now there are windows here that are kind of in the way. But here you can see the, uh, the Norwegian sun. That's a big old boat. Ooh. We're beeping. See we're coming in. We're docking here. I'm gonna come over here past these windows where we can see a little bit better. This is so great. <laughs> but over here you can actually see the city. Look at that. Oh my God. See, we're coming in. Oh. So well, a very good morning to you, Carnival Ecstasy. This is Gary, your cruise director here. As you can see, that guy sounds like Shrek. Our approach into beautiful Nassau, Bahamas this morning. So let me first welcome each and every one of you to this beautiful destination. Then once we arrive, folks, we will have to secure our ship, set out our gangways, then get clearance from the local officials. So we do uh, approximately estimate our time for guests ashore to be at 9.15 a.m. this morning. Now for this reason, folks, we do ask that no guests come down to can the gangway to wait there. to get off the ship this morning. As we he sounds like Shrek. <laughs> ...clear of congestion, especially the stairwells, as your safety is our number one priority. Now every single guest this morning will need their own individual sale and sign card. That's your cabin door key. These big old Regardless ships, of your age. ships, dump trucks. If you are <laughs> 16 years of age or older, you will also need some form of photo ID as well. This does not have to be your passport. However, if you have your driver's license or your state ID, then please make sure you're bringing this off the ship with you. Now the back on board time today will be 4.30 p.m. And please remain on the ship's time. Right now, currently 8.31 a.m. Back on board, 4.30 p.m. Now if you are on one of Carnival's amazing adventures this morning, just make sure you are reading the information printed on your tour ticket so you know where to meet your experience this morning. Quite a lot of our tours do meet on board the ship in the blue sapphire theater. So just tear open your little white envelope, have a look at your orange tickets, and it will tell you exactly where to meet your tour this morning. 
If you still to go on one of our marvelous adventures, well, our short excursion team are open and ready for you. Perhaps you'd like to board a catamaran for some sailing and snorkeling. You can go swimming with dolphins today. This is great. Or I'm thinking that's a hotel the over there, that big white building. For some sun, sea, sand, and relaxation. Whatever you want to do, they have something for everyone. You can pay them a visit on deck seven in the atrium lobby at this time. We wish you all a fantastic morning, ladies and gentlemen. We will definitely see you all out and about. And uh, we'll be back again very shortly to let you know when we are ready for our process to begin. Bye bye for now. Yeah, I need to go find out where we're going. <laughs> um, we're going swimming with dolphins, which is really exciting, but I'm not exactly sure where we're supposed to meet the group, so I need to go round up my kids and find out. There is a really cool building over there. Hold on a minute. What the heck is that? I might have shown it to you earlier, but I want to show you again. And then I'm going to head down and we're going to go see where we're supposed to go. The tour, the, the, the excursion that we're going on is pretty popular. Um, a lot of people here are doing it just from talking to people. The dolphin something something adventure. I don't know, but I'm, I'm really excited. It's something I've always wanted to do. I've never had an opportunity to do it, so this is really great. <laughs> yeah, oh, that must be a hotel over there, that big thing. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what the heck? I can't even see if you can see it. It's so bright out here. It's like a portable water slide. <laughs> it's just basically a portable water slide. How crazy. I love it. I love it. Okay. All right. I'm going to go round up my children and get us ready to go. Nassau, and we have a big ship, the Carnival Victory, that is docking right next to us. It's fine, right? Yep. Here's our ship. Right here, we're just we just got off. We're going to get on a boat, and we're going to the private island to swim with dolphins. And I am really sweaty, and I'm not going to show you my face because I'm really sweaty. <laughs> I have on like no makeup at all, do I? No. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. That's really neat. Slowly backing in. Somehow smells worse. It does kind of smell like fish out here. <laughs> Bahamas, we are on land and we are watching this. This is the Carnival Victory and it's backing in right beside where we are. We are waiting to get on a ferry boat to go to a private island to swim with dolphins. This is our ship right here. We just got off. That ship is cool. It has like a little private, like a viewing deck on the back. Or the front or whatever it is. But we're all, we're all waiting here. It's just people everywhere. This is a very, yeah, this is a very popular. It looks like a building is just slowly backing in. It is enormous. Woo! But it's just people everywhere. We're getting ready to get on the ship and go to the island. Woohoo! A little boat next to a big boat. Look at that water. Well, I don't know if you can even see it, but it's it's really radical out here, isn't it? Yeah. You think so? Also, we've got it's a, totally tubular. We've, we've it's not big, totally tubular. <laughs> we've got a ship up there. Oh, it stop. You're the one. This is this is they. We've been sniping at one another because we've been standing in the heat for a while. And he keeps annoying me. Yeah, they're annoying each other. He keeps bullying me. I oh, know. It's terrible. Look at that. Wow. It's really nice. The water is so beautiful. Yeah. There, there are little fish down in there. All right, guys. Can some of you guys go on the right hand side for me, please? To balance the boat off. All right. Let's put people on this side. Here. Okay. Right, okay. So we'll go to the side. Down. Yeah. I can totally do that. I got mine. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I love that guy. Oh my God, we're moving. He's ambitious. Yes, he is. Ooh, look at that beautiful. It's like a big pool, but it's not. 
It looks like pool water. All right, we're taking off. Beware holding that above the water. I'm being careful. Yeah, what? Come up to the front, please. Oh, sorry. Where are we going? The water is very shallow. Come to the front, please. Excuse me, no use to sit in the back. I want some of y'all come to the front of the boat, please. Where are we going? It's very shallow. Oh, my hat. Come to the back. I gotta stop it and grab my hat. This is really beautiful. Look at that water. What? Don't hold that, that above water or else you know what might happen. Party pooper. Must <laughs> be. Beautiful. Really great day in the Bahamas. Uh, we didn't get to make any video during the dolphin encounter, um, but I did buy the picture package from that, and I will share that with you later. <laughs> but we just went shopping. I just got a bunch of stuff at the gift shop. <laughs> Like, there's a lot of stuff in here um, that I'm going to do a show-and-tell video with at some point when I get back home. And I'm going to do a giveaway of some of the stuff in here. Because I went a little overboard and I bought some extra stuff. But I was thinking about y'all when I did that and I thought it would be really cool to uh, do a giveaway of some of that stuff. Here's what I'm looking at right now. Like, we got one, yeah, two, got three, four one, ships one, out here. Three, there's three, ours three, right there in yeah. the, the Carnival Ecstasy. Victory, the Norwegian Sun, and the Enchantment of the Seas out here. And if you look, oops, there's there's a little boy that I found here. Woo. Look down here, I'm gonna show you some fish. There are these little stripy fish down here. Oh, of course now they're not here. Where'd they go? There were little fish down here earlier. Little striped fish. Well shoot, there were fish down there. I saw them. So everybody's coming back to the ships now. Um, and it, ooh, we got a bad cloud coming up. But I'm gonna go get back on the ship because we are, we are just flat out exhausted. Like we've had a great day. My older son actually went on back. He was getting a really bad headache. So um, when we got back from, rode the ferry back from the dolphin encounter. He went on back while we did some shopping. So um, yeah, it's been great, but I really need a nap. <laughs> and some food. <laughs> Bye. Okay, we're back. We're back on the ship, finally. I was always, I'm always worried, well, I've been worried that we wouldn't get back on the ship on time. I had bad dreams about it and everything that for some reason we would be delayed and we wouldn't get back here. <laughs> and then we would end up having to fly home or get, we would be stuck in the Bahamas. Although I can think of worse places to be stuck. Wouldn't be so bad, I think. <laughs> but um, we have not left yet. We have a lot of passengers on here, but I think um, they made an announcement probably 20 minutes ago. It looks like we're getting ready to go. The water's churning up out there. There were still like eight people, I think, that were not on board. I don't know if they made it or not. Look at that house. Could you imagine having a house like right there? <laughs> That'd be awesome. It's a little stormy back there, but up here where we are, it's nice. Um, it, it drizzled just a little bit earlier but it, overall it was a really nice day. Uh, one of my kids got a bit of a sunburn. I tried to get him to reapply his uh, sunblock and he said, no, I'm fine. And he would not, he wasn't listening. So now he's got a little sunburn. <laughs> um, the red, the, my younger son and I are fine. I don't think we got burnt, so that's good. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat a big fat cheeseburger and probably take a nap because <laughs> I'm exhausted. We all are. We had a great day. Um, got some pictures uh, of the dolphin stuff. You had to buy a package. Um, I can post those pictures later. We had a really good time. It was awesome. We had a wonderful time playing with dolphins and relaxing on the beach. It was it was spectacular. <laughs> it's been a really a really good day. So I'm going back upstairs. <laughs> our last full day at sea. I'm right out in front of the Panorama restaurant. Um, wow, so pretty. It's really early in the morning. I think it's about 7 o'clock in the morning. 
my kids are still asleep. This is like, this is my favorite time to come out here when it's really quiet. Um, pretty much everybody is still asleep. <laughs> um, it's so pretty out here. Oh my gosh. Look. The sun's just shining on the water a little bit over there. It's really pretty. The water is still that beautiful blue color. It was so funny. I was going to tell you about yesterday. Um, yesterday, my older son and I came down here to the Panoram Panorama. We call it the Golden Corral because that's basically what it is. <laughs> we came we came through uh, yesterday to get some breakfast. And I'm, I'm telling you now, um, we could we could see land like right over there, but it looked like it was way off, like far away. And so I said, you know, oh, you can actually see two ships over there right now. It's, that's not land, but I'm looking at two ships way out there. I said, let's go have some breakfast. We have plenty of time before we bank it because I wanted to get a video of us kind of coming into port. I said, we got plenty of time. Don't worry about it. So we sat down to eat our breakfast and we, we hadn't been sitting there long. And then I stood up and we had this partition where you couldn't really see out. We had this partition up. And all of a sudden, I stood up and I looked out. I said, oh my God, there were trees over here. There were palm trees, like right beside the ship. I said, wow, trees. And I, for the rest of the morning, I, I must have sounded just like Lynette because I just, everywhere I looked, I was going, wow, wow. <laughs> it was hilarious. But, uh. Right over there, you could see trees. They were just like right there and the ship had stopped. I didn't even notice that we had stopped. <laughs> and we were there. I missed the whole thing because I had to have some breakfast. <laughs> but we got into port so fast. I mean, you know, it just seemed, it, we're, we're moving quite a bit faster than it seems we're moving. And I'm, you probably can't see it, but way off in the distance, I, I see two ships out there. One looks like a cruise ship. I don't know what the other one is. It could be an alien spaceship for all I know. We, we had a great day yesterday in the Bahamas. I didn't really get any video. I don't think I got any video at all. Um, it was super hot. We were super tired. Um, and we ended up waiting in these long lines for what seemed like forever to get to where we were going. The dolphin encounter was great. I really enjoyed that. We had a good time with that. Um, and we couldn't take any pictures or anything, but I did buy the picture package. So, um, the, the pictures turned out really good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's just, it's so pretty. Now, every other time I brought you to the back of the ship, we were right up there. Uh, we're one deck below that this morning. Um, and I'm going to wander around to some parts of the ship that I have not been to yet. There, there are whole sections of the ship I haven't even looked at. Because I've just been like... I've just been goofing off, I guess. I don't know. I can move here. The Golden Corral is really empty right now. I know that's not what it's called. That's what I call it. Open the sliding doors. I don't like it. But we were sitting. We were sitting right here. So there's this glass wall, and I sit down. And I looked out there. I said, oh my god, trees. I was just watching TV and sitting here and and then boom, I stood up and there were trees. <laughs> They've already got the buffet open, which is unusual. And every morning you come in and there's new yummy stuff. They have new stuff every morning. So you have, you have pastries and then over here you have all kinds of stuff like, um, I don't know, we got cold cuts. They always have cold cuts out. You could have some fruit, cottage cheese. Oh, and you can always get, you can always get soft serve ice cream. They have chocolate and vanilla in the swirl. Um, they had strawberry yesterday. They now they've got vanilla. Um, and more pastries over there. And then it just kind of repeats, so everybody can get to it. And see, it's it's actually very empty in here right now. You can get, you can get orange cocktail, which is. It's very good. That's my favorite. Apple juice, orange passion fruit, guava, and iced tea. And then you come over here, and the buffet is closed. They're getting ready to open it, though. Um, you can get, I'll show you some of this stuff. You can get bread, fruit, 
baked beans, which I didn't know people ate for breakfast. Uh, Belgian waffles, oatmeal, pancakes. Look at that tub of bacon back there. I love that. Sausage, red potatoes, BLT quiche. I want to try that. Boiled eggs, more fruit, more fruit, milk, and yogurt. Um, so it's it's really great. And then you um, there's another there's another big restaurant. No, below us. Down one below us. I haven't even been to it yet. This what's it called? The Wind Star or Wind something? I haven't even been there because I've spent most of my time here on the Lido deck. Stuff in my face. <laughs> but it's been great. Look out here at the sun. Oh God, I don't want to go home. <laughs> I don't want to go home. This place is wonderful. And it, I really love it. I really love it the most early in the morning when basically everybody is still asleep. Because a lot of people, I guess, on this ship stay up late and party and stuff. I don't do that, um, especially after yesterday. Oh my God, when we got back from the Bahamas, all three of us were so exhausted. We were absolutely exhausted. Now, it does look like some people are out here by the pool. Open. Thank you. See, now here we have, this is the blue iguana. Oh God, that's loud. What's that? I don't know. See, everybody's just, everybody's just kind of waiting around for their breakfast. But over there is, you have the saltwater pool over there, and then over here we have, this is, um, see they do breakfast up here too. It's similar to what they have downstairs. Um, and then over here they have, uh, they'll have tacos later today. I want to try one. I haven't tried one yet. I love the tiles here, and then you, you can see the decorative. They have these pretty pots up here. It's so pretty. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> See, they've already got the chairs set up. They take these up every night and kind of swab the deck, you know. They've already got everything all set up for the day. I feel bad. My older son got a bit of a sunburn yesterday, so he's kind of bummed out this morning. He woke up briefly when I was getting dressed, or right after I'd come out of the bathroom. The door is kind of loud when you shut it. We have a beanbag toss. Oh, they had the little um, towel elephant, or towel animals out here yesterday. They don't have them out here today. There's one. Let's go look at it. See, they still got the net on the pool. Look at this dude. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Hey, he's got sunglasses kind of like mine. So you can get cruise souvenirs. He's adorable. Good morning, you got a hair. Got a hair on you there. There you go. Very cute. So this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really miss this. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss this. Um, it's been, it's been fantastic. We have two bars over here. We have the blue iguana tequila bar right here. I love the stools. Look how cute they are. I know I'm showing y'all this twice, probably. I'm sorry. It's just so nice walking around in the mornings before everybody gets up. And over there's the Red Frog Rum Bar. And this place is always jumping later in the day. It's just like this whole area will be packed with people. I love to come sit here and watch the bartenders work because they're so good at what they do. Got a case of Coke there. But they'll have drinks just lined up. And I, lo I love watching them work. It's really cool. So yep, this will be our last, our last full day, and then tomorrow morning we have to get off. So kind of bummed out, but there's not much I can do about it, I guess. Open. Thank you. It's always a whoosh of cold air when you first walk in. Here's the atrium again. See the bar. Now the bar is usually super busy, but right now that and that one's always really busy too. Um, the double staircase thing. I love the elevators. And then we have the different uh, levels here. Somebody's smacking a kid or something. I don't know. 
I saw a lot of very frustrated parents and tired, weepy kids yesterday, and <laughs> my group was one of those groups of frustrated slash tired people. <laughs> But we had we had a good day. It was beautiful. The water was just so beautiful. I think I did get a little bit of video on the the ferry going over to the island, but that was all I got. I'm really sorry, but it was just oh god, it was so hot. It was five degrees below Satan's furnace. I don't know where that saying came from. Look how pretty that is. You know what? My kids are still asleep. I'm going to take you to, I think we're going to go to a level I've never been to before. Here's one thing that's pretty cool. This is the uh, the blue sapphire room. This is the lower level of it. This is where we had to come yesterday to uh, gather for um, the excursion, the dolphin encounter. They had a bunch of different excursions gather in the blue sapphire room. There's a stage. It's covered by that sparkly curtain. I love this floor to that, and then there's a stairway, and then there's a whole other level up there. And it's totally empty because it's first thing in the morning. Look how sparkly that curtain is. Looks like the Wonder Woman symbol a little bit if you kind of look at it. <laughs> but it's very sparkly, very pretty. And the stairs. Um, they, they obviously use this for shows and stuff, and then up there, there's a second level. It's like a big old movie theater in here. And then they have lights up there, you see? And there, these shine on the stage. It's very pretty in here. It's pretty, I like these little tables. But yeah, we were sitting right up there yesterday waiting for our excursion to leave the ship. That's some, it's like marble, pretty cool. But it's, it's just cool, I thought I would show you this. I came in here myself for the first time yesterday. <laughs> waiting to uh, depart the ship we came in here we had to come in here and meet for the excursion pretty pretty staircase too some of the other stuff is closed off closed off because it's kind of early in the morning um like they have the galleria and i haven't i haven't been in any of this stuff um like you can you can actually buy jewelry and stuff on here i uh, nah I, I don't need to go in there it won't end well so um i've not i've not gone in there and you can buy liquor and souvenirs i bought some souvenirs in the bahamas yesterday i do kind of like this shirt i may i may grab a couple of those shirts right there those are neat i like those um yeah i may come in here and look around a little bit too see what kind of stuff i haven't even been in there i don't even know go in there and see what they've got in there Oh, they do have some jewelry, I see. Neat. I don't need any, but I might go look around. Let's see. Yeah, they have one door to the Blue Sapphire open because they're in there cleaning, I guess. Um, crown jewels. Have some nice watches. And, ooh, look at those watches. Those are cool. Somebody's really animated and alive this morning. I'm, I'm not. These are pretty. I love fossil watches. I have one, but I never wear it. He may have already been drinking. You know, these people on the ship drink all the time. I have been around a lot of drunk people in the last couple of days. These are pretty. And some of them are just downright hilarious. They're so funny. <laughs> that one's pretty. I like that one in the back. I feel severely underdressed. A lot of people, <laughs> that guy's drunk, he's gotta be. A lot of people on this ship drink like all the time. And they, oh, I was talking about being dressed up. A lot of people on this ship dress up like big time dress up. I feel underdressed. Oh, that one's cute too. Look at this one. Oh, I'm gonna have to go look at some shirts later. There's some of the uh, pictures. They, they did an auction the other day, and then I heard they were going to sell some separately. I don't know. The Galleria, where you can buy your your liquor, I guess. They said it was cheap. It's cheaper on the ship. I don't know. I don't. I don't really drink, so I don't care. Pretty though. Look at that. 
by six for three hundred dollars no no thank you see now we're down on level uh eight and uh this poor bartender down there she's down there by herself for most of the night last night she was so sweet i don't know how they i don't know how in the world she was handling it all by herself X, the explorers oh this is the library this is something I wanted to show you I don't know if it's open or not I wanted to show you this check this out this is the lot oh god that's creaky sorry this is the library and something about this room reminds me of Titanic it just feels like it feels like you're on the on the Titanic something about the furniture so this is the library I mean it's not huge but like you can come in here and they have board games you can play and stuff and they have these really pretty sofas and chairs and the tables and if you want to pretend you're an evil banker I guess you could sit here and I don't know plot the demise of a small town I don't know but this little, t this little table here this little desk look at this globe holy crap look at this <laughs> It's huge. Look how big this thing is. <laughs> um, it turns. Oh, it's heavy though. It's hard to turn with one hand. There's a black hole right there. Oh my god. That sucks. Hawaii. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Where? Oh god. See, this is where everybody's been touching it. <laughs> They worn the paint off the, around the Bahamas here where we were. So we came from here, came down here. And everybody's been doing that. <laughs> Somebody broke off part of South Africa too. Okay, in Africa, my God. <laughs> so anyway, it's, it's really big, let me show you. Look how cool that is. That's the biggest globe I've ever seen. <laughs> so this is on the, uh, Oh, there's another desk where you, you can plot your evil evil stuff and have your secretary type it all up right here. This is, um, I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, this, I don't know, something about this just reminds me of the Titanic. All the, the nice wood paneling and the furniture and um, these bookshelves are awesome. I love, I love the bookshelves. So pretty. And over here, look, we have a huge model. My goodness, look at that thing. Um, what is this? I came up here with my younger son and he wanted to know if those were people. The little vent things there. Don't take me. I'm playing a game as part of some scavenger hunt or something. This is the Rotterdam. Wow, that's cool. Oh, and here's another desk. I guess if you have, you come on a cruise and you have work to do, you can come in here and, and be a loser and do work. No offense to the losers who do work on vacation. I guess technically that's what I'm doing, but it's not work because I enjoy it. I want to show you what I'm doing. I want to share this with everybody. And then we have games over here. We have memory. Lots of memory games. We have the Minions, Angry Birds, My Little Pony, Scattergories, Scrabble, Jenga, Battleship, Clue, Monopoly, Parcheesi, Checkers, Taboo and sorry. See, so just, just you get it close, but you open it up that way. And then they have books in here if you want to grab a. What the, what the heck was that? It's an earthquake up there. The ceiling's shaking. See, they even have uh, constellations up on the ceilings, on the ceiling with lights. It's pretty cool. I don't know what that was, like they're wrestling an elephant or something right above us. Might be my upstairs neighbor from the apartment because it sounded like they wrestled ele elephants also and dribbled bowling balls. But you can come in here and grab you a book and go out and, and read if you want. Fall asleep and get a funny sunburn. And they're just out organized alphabetically. So. Al alphabetically by the author. Here's an exit. I don't know where that goes. Oh, and we're out here by the bright sunshine again. But isn't this room so pretty? Look. It's so nice. I love I love this little library. It's so peaceful in here. 
I'd about want to come in here and take a nap. It's just, it's just so nice. Um, yeah, my next cruise, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy this. Getting up and coming out and looking around. These door things are cool. This one's a little loose. Oof, it's heavy. What else have we got on this floor? Um, oh, I like that. That's cool. We have the Windstar. That's um. That's the Windstar dining room. That's that's the dining room I haven't been in yet. Oh, here's a pretty sailboat. I haven't even been over here. That's nice. Yeah. Ooh, this is fancier than the Golden Corral. I've been, I've been, I've been supping with the commoners on 10. Look at this is nice. Dang. Okay. I need to come eat in here at least once before we disembark tomorrow. Dining attires. Cruise elegant. Oh dear. I brought nothing elegant. See, that basically makes up everything I have. <laughs> uh, oh, they're doing the Dr. Seuss breakfast. I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I've never liked Dr. Seuss. I don't know why. Even when I was a kid, he just rubs me the wrong way. Open seating breakfast. Maybe this is too fancy for me. I might better just stay in the Golden Corral. The Neon Bar. Ooh. My God, look at that. Okay. The Neon Bar. Oh, they have, uh, interesting. They have, oh, it's not real. <laughs> it just looks like a giant piano. That's pretty cool. It's not, it's not too big. It's kind of small. And then they have, I guess, an actual piano where people come in and play for the folks. And definitely lots of neon. Nice view. Quite lovely. Oh, the pink elephant. I like that. That's neat. The neon is nice. The pink elephant and the steamer bar. Ooh. Okay. What else have we got? <sighs> More shops. Actually, I'm thinking this is not the, the real shopping floor. I think that's one up. Oh, City Lights. I want to take you up there. I want to show you something. I did see something up there. Was it up there? Yeah, it was on It was on 8. I want to show you. No, I'm sorry, 9. I'm on 8. Circle C. This is Okay, this is the kids club. And I signed my kids up for these activity clubs, but I've received no information about them. I don't know when they're supposed to go or what. So they haven't participated in any of that. Let's, uh, let's see if we can go up one. I know I could take the stairs or something, but this is more fun. Where are the elevators? I see here, right there. I'll wait for an elevator. And here it is. Now we get it all to ourselves. We're gonna go to nine, which is the promenade deck. It's like being on the love boat. Yeah. The names of these decks just, I know it's common, but it, I yeah, feel like, no. okay, I feel like I'm on the love boat. Look up there. <laughs> All right. Huh, let's see. The pool, the pool. Oh, that's up, okay. Let's just walk. Over here we have a game room. You can, it's not really big though. And they, they put out pictures here that it, the photographers are taking on the ship. So they have this little, it's not much, but it's just um, like right back there. These And then they have these games that no one ever wins. <laughs> My kids always want to play them and I always say no because you just don't win. Decorative porthole picture frame. Ooh, that's only 20 bucks. Look at that. It's plastic, but it's cool. That's cute. I like that. Huh. See, they, they'll put these pictures up and they try to get you to buy them. For most of this cruise, I've looked like a salty sea hag, so I don't really think I need their professionally done pictures of me. There's the Crystal Palace. Oh, it's a casino. Yeah, I came through here yesterday. 
I really want to do something like this one day, but if I do it, I want to do it in Vegas, not here. But you can come in here and gamble and stuff. They have lots of kinds of gambling stuff. And there's a motorcycle over here. Look at that roulette wheel. There's a motorcycle. Look at that. This is um a Harley Davidson. That's beautiful. Wow, it's very uh, very shiny. Very nice. I want to walk down here. I want to go down this way. Let's see here. It's nice and quiet up here. It's noisy down here. I'll say that for it. Cherry on top. You can do some shopping in there. Buy stuff. That's a neat building. I like it. It's cool. Look how shiny it is. And then we have another bar. Big surprise. Ooh, and a drum set. Check that out. Shake well. That's these folks. And then they tell you, um, I guess, what times they're going to play. And, okay, that way is to the Panorama Bar, which is where I eat because I'm real common like that. I like it because it's super casual. You don't have to dress up. My younger son goes in there at least five times a day to get ice cream. Look at this Rolls Royce. This is the Rolls Royce bar, I guess. And then we have this beautiful Rolls Royce. Isn't that pretty? Look how nice. We walked through here yesterday, um, headed to the thing where we had to meet for our excursion. Very pretty. I like that. So it has has a cute little trunk there. And over here we have Stripes, which is another nightclub. And it looks like they've looks like they've set up a bunch of the paintings. These are different. Oh, look, it's the Rainbow Bridge. Why is it only dogs? Where are the cats? Oh, there's a cat. Okay. Good morning. Okay. Thank you. I was just looking. Even when I get kicked out, they're nice about it. It's so awesome. In this shop, everything is $10. Cool. This is uh, another bar. <laughs> the Starlight Lounge Alchemy Bar. Let's go this way. Okay. Over here. Oh, that's just another entrance to the Alchemy Bar. Everything's closed. They want me to buzz off. I don't care. Um, and then you come back out here. This is These are some of the pictures we saw yesterday. I remember this one. I found out this dude's name is uh, something Max. I thought it was Matt. <laughs> um, but they're doing a grand finale art auction for pictures, paintings, and stuff. But I don't think I'm interested in that. Um, I'm going to go back up to the Golden Corral and get something to snack on. Maybe the uh, maybe the buffet is open now. I don't know, but I'm actually getting a little hungry. So um, the sea out there is so beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to take off for the moment. Bye bye. Hey, it's our last morning. It's our last few hours on the ship. It's really sad. I don't want to go. Uh, we had a bad storm. We went through a bad storm last night. It, I mean, the ship wasn't rocking at all, but there was so much lightning, and you couldn't really hear the thunder, but you could hear the lightning definitely. Um, so it's it's about six o'clock in the morning. We are going to be getting off the ship probably around seven. So um, I want to thank you again. We, my kids and I, have had the best time on this cruise. It's been. It's been fantastic. It's been, I think this is probably the best vacation I have ever had. I don't know if it's the best one they've ever had. I think it probably is, but I know it's mine. And I hope to be able to do this again sometime because it was, it was great. I really enjoyed it and I really appreciate it. Because without y'all, I couldn't have done this. So thank you for that. Look out here. You can see, um, we're right back where we started. There's the uh, the USS Yorktown is way over there. The sun's coming up. There's the big bridge over there. And the birds are, 
they skim along the water. Uh, they were doing that when we when we were pulling out. I guess it kicks up stuff from the bottom or something. I don't know, but uh, we're not moving anymore. There's a little patch of land over there. It's a very nice, peaceful morning. Thank goodness it's not raining anymore. Um, our luggage will probably be ready around 7 or so. And then we will be ready to disembark. So, yeah, it's been oh, it's been wonderful. So before we have to before we have to go, I'm gonna go grab some breakfast and um, check the room one last time, make sure I didn't leave anything in there, and uh, get ready to drive back home. <laughs> At this point, I will say we are shut up. So, so rude. We're, uh, we're about 60 subscribers away from 100,000. I'm really excited. Um, by the time you see this, we will have hit that point because I'm not going to be able to, I'll have to take all these clips and put them together and then post them. So it's going to take a little while because I know I have a lot of footage that I'm going to have to stick together. Um, so I know it seems like all I did on this cruise was make video, but that was that was a just this teeny tiny amount of it. Um, it's, it's been fantastic. It's been wonderful. It couldn't have come at a better time with, you know, I've had a lot going on lately, a lot of stress, and this vacation has done wonders for me. It's, um, I feel so much better. One unintended side effect, one unintended wonderful thing about this trip was that I have had no access to email. I have had very limited access to social media. Um, I, I bought one of the Wi-Fi plans on the ship, but it's not great. Um, but the other ones were so expensive. I just thought, do I really need it that bad? I really don't. Um, so, but it's been kind of nice having very limited access to the internet for the last four days. Um, so I've been posting videos that I made earlier. I had enough access that I could get on, I could get on YouTube and publish, you know, make pro, make public the videos that I had made previously <clears throat> for you to see while I was gone. But that was about all I could do. Um, it was very laggy, very slow. <clears throat> so I, there was very little I could do. It's been wonderful not being able to see that. Now I know as soon as I get to land out there and turn my airplane mode off, it's good, my phone is gonna absolutely blow up, I know. But for now, I have no notifications. I've had no notifications for four days and it's been wonderful. <laughs> But that's going to change here in about an hour when we get off the ship, and that sucks. But that's okay. Anyway, thank you again so much. This has been, this means the world to me. It has been, shut up. It's been absolutely wonderful. Look at that sunrise back there. That's beautiful. <laughs> sounds like they're laughing. <laughs> These birds are hilarious. Every now and then it sounds like they start laughing at So I will be back on land soon and back to making normal videos. The vacation will be over. It's been wonderful. Thank you so much.